Hey guys, this is JB3 and we are back with another episode of FIFA 22 Career Mode Youth Edition here with Bristol Rovers and we will continue on here into the final month. It will be Cheltenham Town who we take on here in April and then we move on and we take on Crew Alexandra here in the final month of May. Three games remaining. We should be clear of the relegation zone. So now it's just a fight to do our best and get up the table here and see how we can improve the team, hopefully with some more youth scouts. So let's get into this one. We'll start in the game here against Cheltenham Town. And we will get into this one against Cheltenham Town here at home. We'll see what we can do here. We'll probably change up the kits as well. We'll go uh, and just make sure we don't have any problems seeing who's on what team. Team's really improving. Gibbs firing on all cylinders here. Let's see what we do here at home against Cheltenham Town. And we'll get this one underway. Powell, he'll hold it up. Arnaz gets him behind. He has a chance. Tight angle. Sends it across. Flag goes up late for an offside ball. They get him behind. Long range strike. Oh, and how do you defend that? I mean, he just turns and chucks it at the net and puts it perfectly. Cheltenham Town with their first time with the ball. Go right up the middle of the field. And... I mean, I mean, I guess you could get tighter to him. I mean, we had defenders there, it looked like, but he just, I mean, turns, rips it from the top, and that's just a good goal. That's off to him now. We're behind the ball. Let's see if we can get another goal here and get back level 1-1. One, one. Oh, they get a good ball up here. Pass it back, and he goes for another long. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is two long strikes and in 10 minutes, they are up two to nil. I mean, oh, I mean, wages right there. I mean, you can't get much tighter to him. And he rips it. It goes off the bar and into the back of the net. Two nil to start the game. Varen gets it up. Reese Carr now on the ball. Holds it up. Slides it across to Varen. Varen going to take his long strike and sees if he can double it. He can't find one for himself. It goes off a defender. Gibbs now right onto Wood. Wood slides it back. Has Varen in the box. He's going to take a strike. Goes off a defender. Deflects down and the keeper makes an easy save. Oh, they're right in front. Mores makes a huge save right in front of goal. And keeps that one out. And that was dangerous. Almost became 3-0. Into right the box. We fight off. Oh, and this one falling apart early. 3-0 Cheltenham Town. Just absolutely putting it to us. I don't think we've really fared well. I have to go back and look at the results, but we have not played Cheltenham Town well in the past. It continues here, 3-0. Gibbs, wide here to Wood. Wood gets on the ball, takes the strike, and it's off of the keeper. He deflects it wide for a corner kick. Oh, they cut in nicely. A big strip off the sidebar. Mores makes another save, though, and keeps it out, which would probably have been a surefire goal, but luckily, Mores comes up with a big, big save. Aguino trying to get it through the middle. Varen has it there. Has Arnaz, who takes a strike right off a defender, and we just cannot get past their final line. Arnaz. To Carr. Carr now tries to get it wide here. Gibbs switches back to his left foot. Can't get through. Wood back on the ball. It's going to be Varen. Varen from a long way out. Test the keeper. And it will go over. It will be a corner kick. Ball gets in here for Varen. Varen now. Gibbs goes to Reese Carr. Reese Carr now trying to get it through. Arnaz. Arnaz takes a strike. Right on the keeper. And... A slow first half for us to get started. It started with a couple long strikes, put us behind early, 2 0. Now we go into halftime down, 3 0. Wood sends a good ball here. Reese Carr now holds it up. Goes into the middle, pal. Pal quickly goes over to Arnaz. It's going to be tight. It's all on the keeper, forces a wide shot, and Arnaz misses a chance to get one back. Oh, they've threaded through the middle, putting pressure on. Big shot. Brzovski can't get in front of it. Mores can't make the save. And Cheltenham Town 
Now add to their lead, four to nil here in an ugly one for Bristol Rovers. Harkonnen goes in Varen. Varen now gets around Reese Carr. Reese Carr gonna have a strike there, puts it right on the keeper and he knocks it down. Reese Carr moves it up here, Reyes back to Carr. Carr now trying to take a strike, goes off a defender. Varen will loft this one in here. It's a good ball right there. Oh, and Wage sends it wide. Just a little wide. Still looking for our first goal. Carr holds it up. Slips it nicely through. Arnaz in on net. Has it. Oh, no. Misses the shot. Puts it right on the keeper, and it's an easy save. Harkonnen, though, intercepts it. Goes back to Carr. Into the box, a good chance here. They lay it off. They switch fields. Brzozowski can't get there. Mores, a fingertip touch to it. Sends it wide. Arnaz racing up the field here. He has Carr in the middle. He sends it to him. It's Carr. Carr now on the ball. Can he beat the keeper? He does. He gets one. And he's going to get one. And with 10 minutes remaining, three goals is probably a big ask. But Carr... Does get one and gets on the score sheet. Adds to his golden boot total. And it's 4-1. to one. Arkanen gets it wide here to Arnaz as he tries to push for another one. Sends it across here for Carr. Carr now back in Arkanen. He has a shot and that one goes wide. Oh, Arnaz picks off the pass and he's going to have a drive in. Arnaz now. Can he find one? He does. And a little bonus goal there for the top two scorers. And we helped the goal differential a little bit there. Still a couple minutes to play. It's 4-2 to two here against Shelton Town. Oh, Legrand trying to break that one up. Couldn't do it. And Mores comes up a big save. We'll end the game here on a corner. An unfortunate one. It was a tough game there. We tried to do our best, but the long shots put us behind early. And we go down 4-2. So here in England, our first month, we have a crop of superstars. We have Ryan Platt, who we'll bring in. He's actually the worst of the bunch, 400,000. So we're actually going to wait on him, see where his evaluation goes. But that's because we have so many other players. We have Sam Andrew, 69 to 93. We have Jensen Brooks, 69 to 93. And we have Callum Brown, 60 to 80 overall, 73 to 94 potential, and an evaluation of $2.5 million. Let's get him into the Youth Academy. So here in Egypt, our first month, we have one good player, but we're going to hold on bringing them in. You know, kind of want to find out where that potential goes before we bring them into the academy. So we'll hold for another month. And here in Japan, our first month, no one to bring back so far. And we will take a look here at our Youth Academy as they become some stars here. Callum Brown, 66 overall to start with. I don't know where he's going to fit in best. A left midfielder, we don't really play with a midfielder. I'd like to be a winger, but his pace isn't great. We'll have to take a look at him in a little bit more detail. Vital still looking good. It's up to a 64. Yang looking good. And Hassan also looking good. Now a 58. Eklund will probably move on from. We just have a lot of left and right back, so we don't really want to fill up the team too much right now. Sam Andrew, who we just brought in, center forward or a striker, 5'5". Five, five. We'll try and move him to a striker position, but has good physicals and a 57 overall to start with. Van Dyke still looking pretty decent, 80 to 86 potential. Roldan will probably move on from him at the end of the season, but we'll see. We'll give him a little bit more time. Manuel Marcos, again, a 6'6 player, but he doesn't really fit in. He's like a 49 as a center back, so not really the player I'm looking for. Actually, we will just let him go at this point. Kind of clear out the Youth Academy here as we get to the end of the season. Santiago Granero looking good as a cam. That potential is very nice, 56 overall. And then we have Palumbo, who is another striker we're taking a look at, 56 overall. And then we have Jensen Brooks, who we just brought in center midfielder, 54 overall. And we'll see where that potential brings us. And then we have a few other players here. And we'll hold on them until... Actually, we're going to get rid of Zarilla, Cordova, and 
Uh, do we get rid of Tokarov? I think we'll hold on him just because we don't have many center backs. And that will finish out our Youth Academy. So Callum Brown, a 66 overall, showing great potential. We're going to bring him right into the team. We're actually going to move him, though, to a center midfielder, kind of in that Varian role where he, I mean, his passing, if we take a look at it here, looks really good. His agility is good. He doesn't really have the speed I'm looking for to be like a left winger and his attacking position isn't great, but his crossing, his free kicks, his long shot, he's going to slot in nicely. I think he's actually going to take the role from Varen. We'll get him training into a center midfielder and see what he can do here in probably what could be the starting lineup. And so we will get into the game here. Crew Alexander here in 23rd position. We beat him 6-1 to one in the last game out, so I think this could be a good game. We're going to bring in Callum Brown right into that midfield role over Varen. Varen just, I mean, he doesn't have potential, which kind of hurts him, but we don't really have a lot of depth at that midfielder role, But so I really want to find a star because that is usually the linchpin, the guy that can help defense get back, help defensively, but then also win the ball and get the pass out wide quickly. So I want to get him going. Brown has the potential. He's going to grow quickly. He's already at a 66. So we want to try him out here. Let's see how he does against crew Alexander. And we'll get this one underway. Ball gets out Arnaz. He's going to move it up as Wood. Wood now into Gibbs. Gibbs with Brown through the middle. Has a chance here. Brown now chips it up. A great bouncing ball. Finds Carr. He'll knock it down. He gets it in the back of that. Brown with his first assist gets things going here. On a pass over to Carr. He puts it in. And we're 1-0 up here early over Crew Alexander as we try to get back to winning ways after a loss to Cheltenham Town. Brown. He'll swing it wide here to Wood. Wood now. Gets it back up. Reese Carr. Gets it over to Pal. Pal in the box. Takes a strike and he nets it. Oh no, just wide. Thought that hit the bottom corner and he just misses wide there. And a chance to double our lead. Brown. Wide to Gibbs. Gibbs now. Looking for here for Wood. Wood right in the Reese car. A good shot there. But saved by the keeper as he knocks it down. I get a good pass here in behind. One on one. And oh, Mores. Oh, no. They miss it wide completely. Thought that was going to be a goal for sure. Crew Alexander missed a chance. It's a goal kick. Carr with the ball. Slips it through for Wood. Wood now tries to send it back. Looking for Pal right in front. And the defender gets there in time. And it looks like it might be a corner kick. And it will be a corner here. Driven right into the middle, Arnaz flips it up. Dangerous as the header goes in, Aguino clears it off the line there. Nice play. Reese Carr gets up there trying to break it up. It's back heeled in. It's a big shot. Oh, and they find it. Oh, we just weren't able to get the ball out of there. And Crew Alexander come back with one of their own. And it's all even again, 1-1. One, one. Gibbs. Tries to get there. Good ball in. Reese Carr. Can he pick that other corner? He does. And right before halftime, we get one back. And we get back on top here. Two to one here over Crew Alexander as Reese Carr continues to score. And what a striker he's become this season here in League One. An absolute dominant force. A good ball in there. He finds that other corner and tucks it in. And that will do it. We'll go into halftime. Two to one. Arnaz on the ball, trying to move it forward. Has it up, Reese Carr. He's going to try and get around his man. He's going to take a strike from range, puts it on Booth. He makes the save, and it goes for a corner. Pal gets away, gets the ball over to Brown, who moves it over Arnaz. Has it in Gibbs. Oh, Gibbs taken down. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Would have been a good opportunity, but it's Crew Alexander going the other way. Oh, they skip a right pass wage. Legrand can't get there to recover. And they will make it 2-2 two to two here in the 58th minute. As Crew Alexander put one home past Mores. Varen will go wide here. It's Arnaz who's looking for Pal. Pal now into the box. He's going to line up a strike. 
off the keeper's hand and he finds it into the back of the net. Three to two as Varen comes on. And this is really what we were looking for. We never had anyone to come on for Varen that could really do what he did. Varen comes off the bench, makes a nice pass there, gets it into Pal, and he has a goal here, makes it three to two. Oh, we tried to race out there. They get behind us. No. Oh, I saw the run coming. Wage can't get there in time. And Crew Alexander not going away, matching us goal for goal. It's three all here with 15 minutes remaining. Oh, they get in behind. A big str Oh, no. The defense falling apart here in this one. Crew Alexandra firing on all the cylinders offensively. And they make it 4-3 to three here late, late in the game. Oh, they get a good ball in behind here. We overrun trying to get the ball away. It's into the middle and they'll get another one. And they'll get another one. And that will seal it a final minute goal. And we will go down two ugly games there defensively. We go down five to three as we kind of fall apart here late in the season. So that will do it for us here in this one. Unfortunately, we take two losses and miss our chance really to get kind of up the table into a more competitive spot. We still sit in 16th and we've got a game in hand on some of these teams. So most of these teams are pretty much done with their season. We got one more game remaining here against fifth on the table, Blackpool. So if we get a victory, where would that put us? Probably only up one spot. So it only put us into 15th, the best we can do. So we'll see what happens. We'll continue to fight. We will wrap up the season in the next one. And if you guys do enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest ones are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.